Hello and welcome back. In this video, we will continue our discussion on the electronic structure of graphene, a two-dimensional layer of carbon atoms. In a previous video, we showed that the band structure of graphene exhibits a pair of crossing bands right at the Fermi energy. Hence, the nature of these states will dictate the conduction properties of this two-dimensional material. In this video, we will show that electrons in graphene obey a two-dimensional version of the famous Dirac equation, a relativistic wave equation for spin-half fermions proposed by Paul Dirac. Hence, electrons in graphene behave as relativistic particles, a unique behavior that has enabled the study of relativistic quantum mechanical phenomenon at the tabletop. Let's begin. We begin by recapping the main results of our previous videos on the electronic band structure of graphene, which you can find in our solid state physics playlist. We saw that the block Hamiltonian describing the electron states in graphene has the form shown in the yellow box. Here, each element is a matrix describing all interactions between the graphene sublattices, which we also denote as the A and B carbon atoms. The sublattice block matrices are given in terms of the Slater Coster parameters describing sigma and pi bonds between S, Px, Py, and Pz orbital states in neighboring carbon atoms. All momentum dependents are confined to three functions. These functions depend on the three vectors connecting a carbon atom to its three nearest neighbors. These vectors are d1, d2, and d3. These functions are often referred to as the structure factors. We refer you to our previous video, where we have detailed the derivation of this Hamiltonian. In investigating the band structure of graphene along the Brill Wan zone path shown, we saw that two bands cross at the Fermi level at the K point. In investigating the orbital character, we saw that the bands crossing the Fermi level are PZ states as indicated by the color-coded orbital amplitudes superposed in the bands. Hence, the conduction properties of electrons in graphene are governed by the PZ states only. Our goal in this video is to obtain a description of the PZ states only in graphene. To this end, we write down the block Hamiltonian for the PZ states in graphene as shown above. Note that the PZ Hamiltonian is a 2 by 2 matrix. This is because graphene possesses a basis of two atoms, which we label A and B atoms. The basis is also shown here, where the first component of the eigenstate corresponds to the amplitude of the PZ state in the A atom, and the second component corresponds to the amplitude of the PZ state in the B atom. We can pick the PZ Hamiltonian elements from the total Hamiltonian matrix of graphene shown in the beginning of this video. These matrix elements were explicitly computed in a previous video. The PZ Hamiltonian of graphene is highlighted in the yellow box. Note that only the F structure factor plays a role in here. We also provide the Slater Coster parameters here. The band structure of the PZ states are easily obtained by diagonalizing the 2 by 2 Hamiltonian. We obtain two energies which differ only by a sign. The energy with the positive sign is the conduction band and the energy with the negative sign is the valence band. Note that the momentum dependence of the energies are given by the absolute value of the structure factor F. This structure factor has the feature that it vanishes to zero at the K and K prime points in the brill wan zone. Hence, conduction and valence bands cross at the Fermi level reproducing this important feature of the band structure of graphene we mentioned previously. The energy bands can be plotted as a function of kx and ky, the in-plane momenta. This is shown here. Note that there are six momentum points where the bands cross, corresponding to the corners of the hexagonal Brillouin zone as shown in the in-plane projection. These correspond to the k points and 3k prime points. The figure also shows what the bands look like at the vicinity of one of these points. Note that the conduction and valence bands have a cone shape whose tips meet together at the Fermi level. 
to investigate further the behavior of electrons close to the Fermi level. We expand the Hamiltonian at the vicinity of the K and K prime points. To this end, we define a momentum vector Q as being the momentum relative to the K point, as shown in the figure. The idea is to express an arbitrary momentum K in terms of Q, and let Q be a small quantity. This guarantees a description of states at the vicinity of the K point. In letting Q be a small quantity, we can expand the structure factor appearing in the Hamiltonian in small power of Q. For graphing, we only keep the first order terms in Q in the expansion. Hence, the structure factors can be approximated as shown around the K and K prime points. Recall that A0 is the distance between two carbon atoms in the honeycomb structure of graphene. Therefore, the 2 by 2 matrix Hamiltonian for PZ states in graphene can be approximated as shown for momenta around the K point. This Hamiltonian can be written in a compact form in terms of Pauli matrices. This is highlighted here. We have absorbed the constant phase factor e to the minus i5 pi over 6 into the basis amplitudes. This approximation is known as the continuum approximation or the long wavelength approximation. Because it describes electrons with wavelength much longer than the atomic distances between the carbon atoms. The vector of Pauli matrices was introduced here to compactify the Hamiltonian. Each component of this vector is a Pauli matrix, as shown. The dot product is to be understood as follows, which will render the 2 by 2 matrix Hamiltonian showed initially. A similar line of reasoning gives us the Hamiltonian around the K prime point. The only distinction is the complex conjugate operation in the vector of Pauli matrices. Its effect is to only change the sign of the sigma y, the y component of this vector. Note that we have written the multiplying coefficient as h bar times vf. Written in this form, vf has the units of velocity as corresponds to the value highlighted in the green box. This velocity corresponds to 1 300th of the velocity of light in vacuum. Such velocity is the Fermi velocity of electrons in graphene. To wrap up, we make a short comparison. Paul Dirac has proposed his famous Dirac equation to describe relativistic spin 1 half Fermions in 1928. This was a monumental achievement in the history of science and has led to a profound understanding on the nature of matter itself, such as the prediction of antimatter and the beginning of our understanding of quantum electrodynamics. The Dirac equation in two dimensions is explicitly written here. Here, C is the speed of light and M is the Fermion mass. Incredibly, the Hamiltonian we derived for the PZ state in graphene is of the Dirac type. This can be seen by letting the mass term vanish. And letting the speed of light be the Fermi velocity VF. By doing this, the Dirac Hamiltonian becomes precisely the continuum Hamiltonian we obtain for the PZ states in graphene. Hence, we conclude that electrons in graphene behaves as two-dimensional massless Dirac fermions, where the speed of light is normalized and is 300 times smaller than the speed of light in vacuum. This incredible behavior of electron in graphene is responsible for a plethora of novel phenomena in this material. Such a feature made possible the study of relativistic phenomena at the tabletop at much lower energy scales. This concludes our discussion. Stay tuned, and subscribe, so you will be notified of our future episodes.